for the first time in 20 months, which I believe is back for its new season, and it's the biggest season ever. We've got the Challenge Cup, we've got the Super League, and we've got the World Cup coming in November. I'm your host, John Seeger. I'm going to be with you throughout the whole season, and we're here at the University of Hull for the first game of the season, involving the defending champions, the Halifax Panthers, the host of Hull FC, and the Argonauts against Army. First up, at the three games, we've got Halifax versus Hull, so Yorkshire Derby. Let's see how it goes. It was a strong start by the Panthers early on in the game. Robert Hawkins scoring under the post here for the first try of the match. Halifaxi did manage to break down the domination of Halifax and after a neat build up play in the middle, Mike Swanger went right to the white to score his first try of the game. Swanger added his second try of the game as he was in the right place at the right time to score a try and to help give his team the lead. Hull were dominating possession throughout the first half. Ashley Lockwood and Swanger got a try each which gave Hull a 12 point lead at the half time interval. The second half saw Halifax introduce Sebastian Bacara and the England International got to work quickly to help Halifax restore their lead. A quick build up play here gave the ball to Tom Martin to score in the corner. Bacara then turned from Ferriga to score as he got his first try of the game, capping off an excellent move for the champions. His England teammate Robert Hawkins was also in excellent form, scoring his fourth try of the game and setting up Tom Green here for his first try of the game. But man of the match, Bakara finished off the game strongly and he closed out the second half scoring a hat trick and helping out the champions close out an 18 point victory over Hull FC. So it was a comfortable 68-40 win for Halifax with uh, Robert Hawkins and Sebastian Carr, Bacara doing very well in the second half. But now it's the other game against the, Ar the Argonauts against an army from Kent. On paper, this was an evenly matched game, but Halifax came out of the box quickly and after some excellent build-up play, Nathan Moorhall opened the scoring for the champions. Tom Martin capped off another excellent move for the Panthers and then Sebastian Bacara continued his excellent form from the first match. He scored two excellent tries as the champions opened up a 20 point lead over the Argonauts. The Argonauts began to show their quality and an excellent work to try from Freya Lou and two quick tries from England international Joe Coyd saw the Argonauts reduce the gap to just 10 points at the break.
into the second half and the Argonauts pushed the champions hard to get back into the game. However, mistakes were beginning to happen. A moment's lapse of concentration by Joey Coy here, letting Sebastian Bacara score a try for Halifax. But the Argonauts continue to dig deep. Their coach, Fred Nye, capped off two excellent team moves to score two tries to keep his side in the game. But the champions always had the upper hand over their opponents. Bakara capped off an excellent move to push his side closer to victory. And despite a late try from Coyd, the Panthers closed out the game by winning by 20 points and their second win of the day. Comfortable win for Halifax in the end, finished 64-44. Sebastian Bacaro was man of the match, definitely, again. But uh, the England quartet from the Argonauts did very, very well. Joe Coyd and um, Fred Knight got a couple of good tries, I've got to say. But yes, yeah, they get on against Hull FC in the final game of the day. The Argonauts busted off their defeat against the champions and showed their quality here against Hull FC. James Hazel saw a gap and raced through to score his first try of the game. The England international second try was even better. He capped off an excellent setup and the run to score under the posts. The Argonauts added four more tries at the end of the first half, including this one by Freya Lou to increase their lead to 22 points at half time. The Argonauts continue their domination into the second half. Both defensively and offensively, they were impressive. Pete Johnson and Dan Edwards scored two excellent tries as their help extend the lead over Hull. Lewis King added his first try of the game as the England International post Lewis King added his first try of the game as the Inter Lewis King added his first try of the game as the England International pounced on a loose pass from Hull and he used his quick pace to race away from the Hull defence to score an excellent try. The Argonauts finished the game on the front foot, as both Freya Lou and Lewis King added three tries at the end of the game to close out an impressive 34 point shutout in the second half. But finished 78 points to 10 to the Argonauts, comfortable win for them in the end. Um, James Hazel, Joe Coyd and Lewis King all involved with some fantastic tries actually. Pete Johnston as well, he scored a couple of good tries as well. So that ends the action here today, but there were action elsewhere. So let's have a look around and see what else happened today. There were three other games which took place in Preston today and they were all involving Leeds Rhinos, North Wales Crusaders and the Leyland Warriors. It was the Warriors, they were first up and they held and they defeated the North Wales Crusaders 76 points to 9. 
And then the Crusaders lost 86 points to 26 against the Leeds Rhinos with Tom Halliwell and Josh Butler coming in quite a few tries for there. And then the final game of the day saw the Leeds Rhinos defeat the Leyland Warriors 44 points to 30. Again, Tom Halliwell put in a man of the match performance. So that ends week one's worth of action here in the Wheelchair Super League. Fantastic week's work of action here. I think Halifax were absolutely dominant in both games against Hull and the Argonauts. And the Argonauts showed their quality as well with the England players against um, Hull FC today. We'll see what happens next week. It's Challenge Cup next week. Next week, so we're up at the English Institute of Sport in Sheffield. Fingers crossed um, we'll have some fantastic action there, ready to build up for the Challenge Cup final back in July. So um, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye for now.